cover story for May is an interview with Minda Dutton, writer, advocate, and the first female wheelchair athlete Ironman triathlon finisher. Also included in this annual mobility themed issue are topics ranging from equine therapy to public transportation. Sign up to receive this and every issue for free at epmagazine.com. Oscar Mike Radio is a proud podcast partner of Reats Across America Radio. Heard every Thursday at 11 a.m. and Sunday at 8 a.m. Eastern. They're also big supporters of the nonprofit I Got Your Six, Two Lives at Once. And with every wreath you sponsor through Oscar Mike Radio, $5 goes back to this great organization dedicated to making a difference in the lives of veterans, law enforcement, firefighters, and first responders battling PTSD. Two Lives at Once pairs these brave men and women together with dogs rescued from kill shelters. In this way, two lives are saved at the same time by saving each other. Donate now. Go to wreathsacrossamerica.org slash Oscar Mike Radio to help. That's wreathsacrossamerica.org slash Oscar Mike Radio. Suicide is preventable, and each of us has a role to play in suicide prevention. Suicide is complex. There is no single cause, and it's not always a mental health issue. It could be loss of a job or home, financial or relationship issues, pain, or leaving the military. Suicide does not discriminate. It affects all ages, races, and genders, veterans or not. If you know a veteran who is struggling, connect with them. Let them know help is available. There is quick and easy access to services in times of crisis. Dial 988, then press 1. Talking about it is okay. Don't keep it inside. Don't be ashamed. Don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. Hello and welcome again to Oscar Mike Radio. My name is Travis, Marine Corps veteran and your host. Oscar Mike Radio is part of the Hoobazoo Network. You can find out more on hoobazoo.com. I want to thank my sponsors, Joyce Asac of Asac Real Estate, Army National Guard veteran Mark Holmes of Reaper's Detailing Power Washing, and my supporters all, I just love them all, Quezon Shaving Company, Exceptional Parent Magazine, and Black Cat Designs. This is number 399, folks. That's right, 399. The odometer's getting ready to turn. And, you know, it, it's like you go from 999,000 to 100,000, but it's actually the one before, the, the mile before that you're like most jazzed up about. And it's been a great ride. And this show really encompasses the Oscar Mike radio experience. You know, you're out there meeting people, doing stuff. Things happen, and now we're doing this. So I am pleased to introduce my next guest, a U.S. Air Force veteran. They call him Jersey Joe from Patriots Helping Our Veterans. Joe, welcome to Oscar Mike Radio, man. It's glad to have you for number 399. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me. No problem. No problem at all. Thanks, Um, Travis. (laughs) It's happened before, and you're not the first person to do that, by the way. The last (laughs) person that did it was on C-SPAN on national TV. So you're in good, you're in good company, Joe. It's all good. good. It's all good. But yes, my name is Travis. The show's Oscar Mike radio It's number three ninety nine, And let's set the stage here. You know, folks, I got to go to the harvest cup in 2023 with the organization that I support. I got your six, two lives at once. 
and the Harvest Cup is New England's largest cannabis uh, business uh, festival convention, whatever you have at the Worcester DCU Center. And I was like a duck out of water. I didn't know what I was doing. And we were in the nonprofit section. And by the way, the, the Harvest Cup people were, were just great to us. They are um, amazing people. They really are. Fantastic. Just everything was set. We had no problems. It was great. And we set up our thing, and we're, we're definitely not used to this. But there was this group by us called Patriots Helping Our Veterans. And, you know, got to meet, you know, Tom and all the crew and you, Joe. And you guys just put your put your arms around us and said, hey, we're here for you. Let's make this work. Let's do something together, which is how a lot of Oscar Mike Radio works. So it was really interesting, you know, talking with you about cannabis helping veterans. I shared my perspective on it, you know, how I've seen it help veterans. So we're going to have some fun, teach people some stuff, hopefully, and just keep the relationship going. But before we get into all that good stuff, and it's yep. all good, all of it's good. Tell us about your your Air Force career if you can and transition out of the military please joe yeah i was uh i was in the air force i worked the flight line i was uh in ground support uh deployed i uh supported operation iraqi freedom and operation enduring freedom uh separating from the military you know you go from yeah zero to 100 and then back down to zero so nobody really kind of prepares you there's not really the support out there that you you think there might be you're kind of left to just figure it out into your own devices and some transitions are a little easier than others. Everybody's got a, a bit of a different experience transitioning out of the military and what their military experience was to them. Um, you know, so I found myself uh, transitioning out and, and struggling with it, really, to be quite honest with you. Uh, it was a tough transition uh, for me. In what way? Because it is. You go from zero to 100, and then, man, the the the, the stop is abrupt, like sudden hitting the wall. And you, you... Oh, it, Totally. It is. And you're just like, all right, now, uh, what do I do with all this free time? Uh, I guess I, I guess I got to get a job. I guess I got to work. I guess I got to, you know, function and interact with people. It's a, it's a, just a, it's a, nobody prepares you for it really. It's just kind of like they throw you out there and you just figure it out. Let me ask you something. One thing for, for me that I tell people is, you know, in, in the Marine Corps, in the military, I mean, we, we slept, ate, shat, did everything together, yep. played together after work, the whole nine yards, everything. Yeah. You basically trauma bond with your battle buddies, man. <laughs> to, <laughs> That's just... you know, this is the weekend. This is my time with my family. I don't really want to talk to you. I'll see you Monday morning. Was, was Did you ever come across that? Oh, yeah, totally, 100%. Uh, you know, uh, Every day it seemed like getting out was a little bit more of a struggle. Some things were getting easier. Some things were getting tougher. You know, I found myself isolating a lot, having a tough time uh, engaging with other people and, and building like meaningful relationships. And um, it was just a struggle for me for some reason. It was, uh, I felt better by myself. You know, I really uh, isolated a lot. Yeah. So where did cannabis come into this? Because, you, you know, from the Marine Corps, that was a, that was a surefire uh, express oh, yeah. ticket out of the Marine Corps if you got popped, you know. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Same same way in the Air Force, right? There was zero tolerance. Uh, for me, it didn't really come until later. I mean, I've been separated for fifteen plus years now, or whatever it's sure. been. Um, you know, and I just found myself in this cycle of just isolation, and then you know everything seemed to be good on the outside. You know, I'm going to work, I'm holding a job, I am in a relationship. I end up getting married, end up having kids. And then, I don't know, one day I just had that little come to Jesus moment with myself. And I, I'm cycling off things from the VA and, you know, medications. And I just wasn't myself anymore. And I just, uh, I don't know, I was just so calloused and so numb. And um, I just, I don't know, I had that come to Jesus moment. I just needed to do something different. And actually, a friend of mine, he was like, why don't you just try smoke a little pot? You know, that seems to mellow you out. And so I did. And I just, man, I jumped in full bore and never looked back. I just cold turkey quit all my medication. I was probably miserable for the first month. Uh, it was really bad the first two weeks. Don't recommend just cold turkey quitting anything. Um, you know, and then I, I found myself just drenched in trying to learn more about how I could, you know, medicinally benefit from this plant. And it's not, you know, on a recreational sense, but on that real true, you know, medicinal 
uh, you know, healing uh, sense. I don't know how else to describe it. We, we, we talked about this, you know, at the Harvest Cup, you and I did, you know, I said, hey, look, man, you know, I, I, don't, I don't smoke marijuana, I never have. But, you know, I did volunteer at a place where, you know, I'd watch guys, I told you this, with a duffel bag full of meds. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, the amount of meds they had to take every day of the week was astonishing. And he's like, man, I'm taking six meds to counteract one. And if I, and he's like, so he tried, you know, marijuana as a, as a, as a, mm -hmm. to heal just to see what would happen. And he said within like, so he didn't do what you did. He took him six months to fully get off his meds. I saw him a year later and, and Joe, he was like a different person. I'm telling you, it's changed my life. I mean, I really just never looked back. I just knew that I needed to do something drastic and needed to change. So I started down that journey and it really like, I'm, I'm the type of person to do a lot of research. Uh, so research is like something that I like doing. It's you know, a bit of a, self-isolation thing but i enjoy doing it by myself so i just went down that route and uh, that's actually how i found patriots helping vets just out of the sheer research portion of it and uh you know scrolling facebook and i'm finding these cannabis groups and i'm finding these communities that i didn't know existed and i'm finding all these other veterans that have life experiences like me um and then i'm starting to interact with them i'm starting to feel more comfortable uh and it was really just bringing me back to this sense of family and, uh, you know, it was just this unwritten thing between us. It's uh, you guys all, we all speak the same language. You know, we may not have all done the same things, but we all have a lot of similarities and it, it goes branch to branch, you know, as much as we like to, you know, bust on each other and give each other a hard time, you know, that's, it's still our brothers and sisters, you know? Well, I think this is the one thing that I took out of that Harvest Cup weekend and then being with you all was, you know, one, the sense of community, and then two, this desire to, you know, help veterans understand that, hey, this is, you, you can, you know, partake of marijuana, absolutely, but if you do it this way with the support group, you'll really improve your life. You know, you know, where did that aspect totally. of your, you know, so Patriots helping your veterans is that community. You know, why did you all structure yourselves that way? So, you know, Tom had just a vision, you know, he's our founder, he had a vision and it was real simple. He found the same healing benefits from the plant. Uh, he just wanted to share what he knew and he wanted to share it with other veterans and he wanted to help other veterans. And that's what he's been committed to from the start. I mean, that's what he's done. And that's why I gravitated towards him and the group and found myself, you know, as a member of a Facebook group to an admin and a moderator. And then you know, which is oh, big deal in the Facebook group. And now we're forming an organization and we have a board of directors and we're, you know, uh, forming this nonprofit and it's really just accelerating. And it's the more we accelerate, the more we help, the more we uh, veterans we touch. And we just see so much veteran to veteran um, healing too that happens. I mean, you know, it's so infectious and it's there's healing in that, just helping another veteran. And it, letting the next guy or gal know what you know and how it's benefited you and um, guiding them and, and uh, helping them find resources and supporting them in their journey. Really, it's from, you know, we always joke, it's from seed to harvest and it really is. And to, it's really seed consumption and uh, teaching another veteran how to become self-sustainable. You know, not every state's legal, um, you know, and uh, we really do promote home grow because, uh we feel that veterans should have access to their medication. They should be able to grow their medication. There's therapeutic benefits from putting your hands in dirt. And, uh, you know, just all of us getting together and getting outside of our comfort zone and, um, you know, reintegrating back with the community. And uh, it's just really, really powerful. And it's moving. So so what is that? You know, you know, this is the, this is the thing I have a trouble with, Joe. And this is just <laughs> from... From my view, and I, I, do, I do not consume marijuana, never have, but but here's my thing with it, right, is the same doctor, whether VA or otherwise, will give you Percocet, Oxycontin, Lithium, all that, yeah. all that, and those are good, right, you know, and even though it's proven that these can have very bad long-term effects on your health, but that's a good thing, we'll, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. But a but a seed planted in the ground from a plant that has been around for, you know, thousands of years, that's bad. You know, it's uh, I I say this the same 
scenario to anybody. Uh, anything in excess is bad for you. You can drink too much water and, and die, right? So um, even good things for you are bad for you. And it's, you know, they, they claim that all this man-made you know, medicine is good for you and the chemicals, but I'm telling you, I've been on more antidepressants and mood stabilizers and this and that. And um, they all just, you're trading one side effect for the next. And uh, the most consistent thing I found has been this plant, you know, and it's organic. I know how it's grown. I know it's, it, it's a plant, you know, and when you use it right, you use it truly for medicinal purposes, you know, you'll find the benefit. It's anti, you know, anxiety reducing. You've heard them all, you know, it's like, I'm not going to, reiterate all of them because everybody's heard them all but it's it, you know uh, it's really just chasing down what works for you and it's a very unique experience for everybody uh we tell all the veterans that it's you know one strain doesn't affect me the same way it affects you uh there's you know different things like terpene profiles that you want to pay attention to and you know this terpene profile may work for me, or I find that these strains. Right now, now hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm a total noob here. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, is, what is terpene? I, I don't know. What's yeah, terpene? Yeah. Okay, so terpenes, uh, like everything, has terpenes. Everything that we eat, the flavors that we have, uh, they they all have terpenes. And I'm by no means I'm not any expert in this, but uh, they all affect you differently. Like you know, lavender has got that relaxing, you know, sedative style effect, and then there's anti uh, anxiety reducing and um, anti-inflammatory, uh, there's just all kinds of things, cancer fighting properties and, and, you know, in the plan as well. Nice. Nice. So I'm a veteran and it's Patriots helping our veteran. I'll have the link to their website and social media, um, outlets in the Oscar Mike radio show post. So it's patrons helping our veterans. And let's just say that I'm a veteran who wants to go down this road, but it's not sure where to start. And, you, you know, I reach out to you all. What happens when a veteran reaches out to you all to get started on this journey, Joe? Typically, honestly, we are uh, we do really well face-to-face. We'll probably ask to see what your availability is, see uh, if you can do a video chat with us, uh, and just try to get an understanding of, you know, maybe some of the things you're dealing with or some things you're looking for help for so we can either – you know, assess really what your needs are or uh, figure out who we can link you up with in our community. Uh, we have a lot of people just in our community and no official capacity that just help, um, you know. So uh, we have a lot of resources. There's a lot of veterans with a lot of different backgrounds. Uh, it's, you know, uh, with therapists, uh, you know, um, just everything. I mean, if you need help growing, you know, you're in a legal state, you need help growing. We have all kinds of people with all different varying experiences to help support that. If it's uh, not necessarily medical advice, because I, you know, we don't ever promote. We're not medical professionals. We don't promote that we are. Uh, we're just peer to peers trying to help each other, and that's really what it is. And trying to support you and uh, what you are trying to achieve for yourself. So, so, so you, you come know. you come into uh-huh. this family community, and one thing I will say that that I did observe from the harvest cup is it, it's a community like you you talk to people oh, yeah. you've known for years you know everybody knows everybody else it's a really interesting uh you know culture so we get the veteran into your program they start growing their 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 own grow or you know providing their own medicine you know what are you looking for as they go through this journey to see that they're doing all right uh just that they're i mean honestly, how engaged they are with it. If they seem like they're still a little self-isolating, if they still like they need support. I mean, obviously we would love to see, not hear and see from them for a little while because it's uh, usually it means that they're doing really well. You know, they're getting busy in life and they're getting active and they're engaging with their families and uh, they're doing all those positive things and you'll, you'll see them. You'll be posting stuff. I'm going on here. I'm going there. I'm doing this this weekend with my kids or uh, you know, all that good stuff. So, you know, those are the things we look for. Just uh, if it's positively impacting them, if they still need some sort of support or can we guide them in a direction that is maybe beyond our support? Um, you know, how, how can we just, it's all about just helping each other. It's real grassroots. It's not, there's no secret sauce. You know, everybody's there because they just want to help. They just want to heal. So tell me, um, I met Tom Rand at the Harvest yeah. Cup <laughs> and, you know, we, we talk to each other off and on, you know, since then marine corps veteran gung-ho uh you know just a really engaging character to talk with 
and really believes in what he's doing and what it's done for him. You know, what's, what's it been like, you know, going from, you know, kind of being by yourself and, you know, to your point, self-isolating to being part of an organization, you know, family, because I mean, he's got the whole family involved in what he's doing now. It, it, it must be a, you know, almost like a rebirth. It really is. And it's, uh, it's motivating every day, to be honest with you. It's, uh, I, I feel like I step outside my comfort zone quite a bit. I, you know, that, uh, at the Harvest Cup, I, I guest hosted the, the Belushi after party sensei magazine thing. You know, I'm, I'm up there, uh, guest emceeing. That was way outside of my comfort zone. Honestly, the, this, this interview is outside of my comfort zone. It's just, uh, it's not my thing to do, but, um, every day I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone. I'm getting more involved with the community. I'm, um, I'm just trying to stay engaged and it's really, uh, it's powerful. And, uh, just, it's really moving is uh, when you can help another veteran. We always say just help one more. And, uh, that's what we do every day. And we live by it. Well, very cool. And just to let you know, you're doing great <laughs> so far. It's, it's like you're, a pro, so <laughs> you've got nothing to worry about. You're, you're doing fantastic. Um, you, you come through every year as an organization and try to figure out, you know, where you are and what you're going to do next. What do you what do you see for 2024 and say 2025 as the over overall goals for um, Patriots helping our veterans? So we're really focusing this year on just growth, right? So we've started from nothing in the basement of Tom to now we're this organization, and you know, so we're reaching out for for help. You know, we're reaching out to other organizations. We're partnering with organizations like yourself. Uh, just the exposure is good, you know, for us. Let other veterans know that we're here, like we're here to help. Um, you just never know who we're going to meet along the way, to be quite honest with you. But um, for this year, we're really uh, looking to strengthen some of our current partnerships. And uh, we're looking to engage a couple larger partners that we're hopefully in the works of talking to that will hopefully bring us to that next level of funding and that next level of help. Um and that's really what we're, we're focusing on this year and, and going into next year is just uh, strengthening the relationships we have and maybe partner with a couple of key partners. Yeah, I don't want to give anything away, but I know that there is a potential, well, not potential. I mean, I think there's a partnership developing uh, from a provider right near where I live here in Massachusetts. So I'm, I'm very excited about that, but I won't let that out of the bag at this okay. time. <laughs> and, and, you know, for, for me, Joe, I mean, I'd rather have someone reach out to me on Facebook or email saying, Hey, you know, I'm, I feel this way or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in cannabis and be able to tell them, Hey, you know, go to Patriots helping our veterans. These are all veterans you know, of different services who've, you know, done their journey and do that. Then it's tell them, really, hey, uh, don't know. it's really moving when people like enter the group and stuff. Cause just the, uh, it's almost off-putting because everybody just wants to help you. So it's a little mm -hmm. overwhelming when you come in at first because you're just not used to the generosity of people and somebody giving you something and expecting nothing back and somebody helping you and spending their time with you and just wanting nothing in return. And um, just they, you put a post up, the next thing you know, you got 30 people just engaged with you and they just want to help you. And it's uh, it almost takes you back for a minute. And it's like, all right, what's the catch? What do they want? What does this guy want? Uh, is somebody trying to get me and – you just have this wall up the whole time, but it's a, uh, it's a, you know, everybody just wants to help. I just say that, you know, nobody's judged uh, when they come in, you know, everybody comes from different reasons. There's separations for different reasons. Not everybody in our group is honorably discharged and, you know, well-decorated. Uh, you know, you have people that have been through some things and maybe they weren't separated on the, uh, the best terms. You know, they were separated re related to drug charges. We don't want that to ever deter somebody. If you are a veteran and you serve, you're welcome in the group, you know, and that's really how we feel about it. Well, I mean, I got that, I got that sense from you all talking with you all at the Harvest Cup and, you know, when, when these relationships came up that there's that feeling that, Hey, you know, this group is here for the right person. Um, but what's it like though, when, when that person comes in, it might be overwhelming at first and then they start their healing journey. And the only reason I ask <laughs> is people can get used to feeling bad. You know, I can tell you personally, yeah. you know, there's comfort in feeling bad sometimes, right? You, you get used to it and it, it becomes what you know, and that becomes comfortable. And so it can be really weird, Joe, to feel good for the first time in a long time. What's it yeah. do to you when you watch somebody you're like, you know, Hey man, I'm, 
Joe, I'm actually feeling good today. What's, what's that do to you? I'm telling you, it just motivates me all over again. Cause it's just like, you know, I feel like in my heart of hearts, I'm doing the right things for the right reasons. And, um, you know, but it's very validating and it's, uh, it's very, uh, rewarding and motivating. You know, it just makes you want to continue to help, uh, continue to drive. And we see it all the time. We see just the generosity and the kindness of others, uh, rampant. And, and it's, it's just amazing. It really is. Now, in yeah. terms of geographic location, are, are you all primarily East Coast? Or are you are you going nationwide? Oh. You know, what's the footprint so far? Yeah, so we're really, uh, I mean, it started in Massachusetts. We're everywhere. I mean, I'm in New Jersey. Uh, we have another board member who's in Florida, another board member in Arkansas, uh, one in Virginia. You know, we have members in California, Alaska, uh, all over the Midwest, uh, peppered throughout the U.S. We really, there's no limits to it. Nice, nice. So th- there, there's, there's help somewhere if you just reach out for it. That's it, man. There's always help somewhere. And more than likely, we got somebody in the group that's in your state that could even help you on the local level. You know, uh, and we're looking to grow that. Obviously, we're always looking to bring veterans in, and we want them to be a part of the organization. We want them to, to help them along on their journey, and we want to support them in any way we can. So you're watching this as a veteran or even a civilian who, you know, would, and that's the thing I kind of wanted to clarify. Some orgs are very like veteran only, and I get that. But do you do you accept civilians that want to help you all out with your mission? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, anybody that's on board with the mission, uh, I mean, if it wasn't for the Patriots, we probably wouldn't have Patriots helping vets, right? So uh, they've the Patriots have been amazing. You know, um, I, I can't say enough good things about, you know, some of our Patriots in our group. Fantastic. So yeah, absolutely. So welcome as well. So uh, you know, I'll have the links in the, in the Oscar Mike Radio show post. But how can people you know reach out to you? What's the best way? Is it through the website? Is it through social media? What's your what's your what would you tell people? Uh, I'd say Zuckerberg doesn't like he likes shutting us down from time to time because we're cannabis based and he's not always cannabis friendly. So we get uh, blocks and bans and uh, you know warnings and things that we post because it's got a pot leaf on it and it's like okay, it's a leaf. Let's get over it. But, you know, so I would say the best way to reach out to us is uh, through our website. We have a contact us. We'll get you, you know, or you can find us on Facebook, social media. We're on Instagram as well. Uh, we have like a little small little YouTube channel that we're slowly building with some helpful videos and stuff. Um, so any of any of those ways. Awesome. Awesome, man. Well, again, I'll have I will have those links in the, the website post for this episode and in all the podcast posts. So if you need to reach out, you can. And I like this aspect where it's Patriots helping veterans. And, you know, sometimes there's nothing more patriotic than going outside the norm. And, you know, I got to tell you what, Joe, I go back to, you know, I grew up in the church, read the Bible and Genesis says, you know, God created every, you know, herb bearing plant and seed bearing tree. Right. So, I mean, this is something that God created, you know, when the earth came into existence, it, it's there for a reason, you know, why not? Why, why shouldn't we be using hemp to make lives better? I just, it blows my mind. Honestly, it blows my mind that we've gotten here as a society to the point of where shunning a plant, you know, to your point, it's a God bearing plant. And I don't feel bad about putting something organic in my body. I really don't. I, I feel I sleep quite well at night doing it actually. <laughs> plant bad, pill good. I don't know. I, I, I'd go with the plant if I needed. And I, I, yeah. I wanted to show you this. Remember this? Yes, you, that's awesome. You gave yeah. me this. So I do. Funny story about this. I'm like, oh, wow. You know, Joe gave me this. This is, this is pretty nice. I can put like my, I put my, you know, shirt kit in there for my headphone set. I'm like, this is pretty cool. So I show it to my son when I get home that night. Like, you know, hey, look at this cute little tray that, you know, these Patriots helping our veterans gave me because I, I, I gave him the hoodie I got, you know, from you. He's like, dad, that's, that's not. It's <laughs> not a tray dad they were actually uh we did a green goddess invitational where it was a woman's golf outing and it was uh you know to raise money for for the women and and they donated a bunch to the the, the female veterans and stuff so it was really nice and they all put it together and they all they made those trays i believe at the event I think, hopefully i'm remembering that correctly i wasn't there but i think that's where those trays came from so they donated them and we wanted to make sure veterans got them well i, I freaking love it but i didn't <laughs> <laughs> so my, my my son educated me i mean it's one of those like dad let me let me let me tell you what this yeah, is. yeah it's a rolling <laughs> tray yeah. yeah 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 and he's like you know i, I i'm not going to tell you how i know but 
I'm like, okay, yeah, I know how you know. Yeah. So we're, we're good. We're Send good. them our way. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. Um, absolutely. You know, and it's just, again, this, this is why, you know, I, I love doing Oscar Mike radio is I wouldn't have, you know, met you, met you all, or got an idea of what your mission is and the potential relationships that, that, you know, I've been told about that's going to happen if I wasn't doing this. And I'm hoping that there is a veteran out there who maybe is going through whatever they're going through and pain is real and pain can really change your perspective yeah. on life. And that it could be they mental reach out pain, to it could be yeah. physical pain. You know, it's, uh, it's not always a physical pain. It could be that mental pain, that, that deep, uh, that deep darkness that you're, you're, you're fighting. You know, we're just trying to do our part to, to reduce that, you know, that statistic, that 22 a day. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to see you hopefully uh, in November of 2024. We're going out there again. We're right by you all. And I just want yep, to get, I'll be there. Yeah, cool. I just want to thank you, you know, again for last year. You you guys were really cool with us, talked with us, and, and really shared what we were trying to do. And we hope to support you in whatever you all are doing. So, yeah, we, thanks again. We really loved what you guys were doing too. And that's, it was, uh, it was easy support, man. Uh, we really appreciate what you guys do for veterans as well. Awesome. Awesome. Well, there you have it, folks. Number 399. We roll the odometer number 400 next week. It's June of 2024 when this drops. Um, this is just the power of veterans coming together, talking to each other, and then the other Americans, the other patriots that want to help us out. It, it, the organization so aptly named Patriots Helping Our Veterans. Joe, for your first podcast interview ever, <laughs> I've got to say you crushed it. I mean, Thanks, buddy. <laughs> sometimes I'll get different reactions from people who want to come on these and do these, but you were just smooth the whole way through. So well done. Appreciate Hope you do that. it again. And you have an open invitation for you to come back anytime you want. Thanks, Travis. I really appreciate you having me on. That was great. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, well, as we say in Oscar Mike video, we are mission in flight. We certainly are Oscar Mike with Patriots helping our veterans. Tune in to number 400 next week. Thank you for your support so far, and we will see you next time. Remember, Honor teaches our mission. We care about it. We do it every day. But I think there are things that just hit you and give you a reason to go on. The theme for our 2024 for Reach Across America is live with purpose. It just seemed to fit in with the bows of the wreath, the 10 attributes that we feel represented our United States military. I thought, what a great opportunity to put those two things together and show our kids through how we act, some of the things that can make their lives better, their communities better, and by doing that, the country better. For me, live with purpose, I think, is a, it's a mindset. Set some guidelines and then go out and purposefully make life different, make a change. It's an opportunity to set an example. Thank you for listening and watching Oscar Mike Radio, where our active duty service members and veterans are in action and the mission is in flight. Oscar Mike Radio is an oversized load, co Sinister One production. If you are a veteran or know a veteran who needs help, please dial 988 and press 1 for the Veterans Crisis Line.